Good morning, cadre. Got my cup of coffee here. Black, of course. I took the day off work because I've got some errands I gotta run. Still a little hot, but delicious. With that being said, I'm coming at you today. We're gonna have ourselves a shave. Um, I'm going every other day kind of with the razor rock to back, razor rock to back. And just, it unfortunately it worked out that I haven't given you guys a tobacco shave on camera yet. I will do that though. I do have it sitting here. The ring at the bottom is getting bigger. Um, so we'll see if it lasts the whole month. If you hear something in the background, I brought the puppy in with me. Um, well, she's not really a puppy no more. She's 11 months, I think. She might be a year now. Um, but anyways, she, uh, my wife and the kids already left for the day. Um, so Bailey is, the puppy is just going to be in here. Um, I gave her a bone, but she thinks she's being locked in here. She doesn't realize that I'm in here with her. So anyways, the shave we're going to do today is from Razor Rock. And what I'm going to use is Emperor. So a couple things I want to talk about with this soap. Um, first, it does put the scent notes on the front, um, and this is supposed to be their rendition of a um, Creed Aventus. I have sniffed the real deal, I've had a small sample of it, and I don't think this is a perfect match for it, but it's definitely in the wheelhouse. Um, and he says that it's a masterful blend of pineapple, bergamot, black pepper, smoke, and leather. Um, while not a perfect match, it's in the same wheelhouse, it's a good scent, I really enjoy it. I did bloom it a little bit, so we'll get this on here and then I can talk about the next thing I wanted to talk about, which is a little bit about the different Razor Rock formulas. Um, my understanding when it comes to them, they've got their specialty stuff, which I would throw like Motherfucker, Santa Maria del Fiore, Blue Fougere, the Dead Sea, those are different formulations. Um, each one is unique to itself. So if you're going to grade those or use those, you need to take that into consideration. Now when you're buying the regular tubs, they've got a um, your tallow version, your vegan version, and then what I refer to as the argon oil. And it does have tallow in it. So what you need to look for on the bottom is when you're looking through it to make sure that it is what I consider their best formula is shea butter, argon oil, and aloe. If you see those three ingredients, in my opinion, you're buying the best Razor Rock soap that they offer, minus the special editions. As you saw with the Motherfucker, I consider that to be one of the best. Um, I like the Dead Sea, I like the Santa Maria del Fiore, and I really like the Blue Fougere also. Um, but those are their special editions. Their regular line, you gotta look for those three ingredients. The um, Shea Butter, Argon Oil, and Aloe. So I'm going to use the Razor Rock 24 millimeter barrel brush today. And we're going to do a face lather. This is a fun soap. Um, and the scent is fairly strong, actually. You know, I think some of the previous complaints with Razor Rock is they're too lightly scented. I think they've been upping their game. I think they're scented better now. You know, if you're buying the newer versions that are made with the argon oil. There are still some out there that are not argon oil, and you still make some that are vegan. So, you know, it's definitely worth reading the information before you make a purchase. I'll be honest with you, um, I'm at the point now to where with Razor Rock and really anything in general, I'm not going to buy it unless I know it's going to be good. And if I buy this formulation, it's going to be good. Now it's not, don't let me fool you here, and I'll be honest, it's not going to beat out some of my best soaps. So that leads me to my next category of when I buy soaps. If I know it's not going to be as good or better than some of my favorites, then the scent has to be amazing. If the scent's amazing, I'll deal with it.
I can hear rain. Um, I did get rained on a little bit yesterday during the game. And funny tidbit about that while I build this ladder. I saw an article that came out yesterday evening around 10 o'clock from the Utah weather station that said that from October 1st through October 4th, we have had more rain than we have had since May 1st and September 30th. More moisture hitting the ground. Whoops. Flinging a lather everywhere. Oh, Bailey. Puppies. I'll pick her up for you guys in a little bit. So you can see what the pup looks like now. But yeah, guys, this is good stuff. I mean, look at the lather. I mean, it's it's good lather. Don't get me wrong, you know. And I, I think I think people recognize that. I think it's just, it gets, you know, a lot of people with Razor Rock, they got stuck in some of the older stuff. And, you know, when they didn't have to really up their game, you know, and a lot of people started upping their game. They're like, well, I don't need Razor Rock anymore. Well, they've adapted. You know, they've adapted with this new formula, in my opinion, and they kept the price low. Still not the best. You know, in my opinion, it teeters on that Tier 1, Tier 2 still. Um, the motherfucker, that's, that rises to up. Um, the SMDF, Blue Fougere, the Dead Sea, those raise up too. I'm going to use the SLOC again with that Astro Blade. This is its third use. I'm getting really good shapes with this thing. So I will work through my other open combs. I will... Um, I just know that when I use the Piccolo, I'm not going to get good shaves. I, I don't get good shaves from that razor. And then I, I probably just need to piff that one away. I don't think that one's worth selling. There's not really enough invested in it to try and recoup. So I'll probably just piff that one eventually. I actually haven't ran a piff in a while. Probably should get on that. I like to give back to the community. This community has given me so much. I've gotten a lot of free gear. I've gotten a lot of stuff. And I, you know, I, I should. I like to give back to it. So I think I will do a piff soon. Yeah. So keep an eye out. I, I don't know what will be in it. I'll probably throw in. It'll be some used stuff. It'll be some good stuff. Don't get me wrong. There'll probably be a couple soaps. Um, probably the Piccolo Razor. We were actually doing pretty good yesterday in the game. No rain until like three minutes to go in the game in the fourth quarter. And it came down. So I actually had my uniform hanging up and drying because I will probably wear that uniform again on Saturday because it's supposed to be storming Saturday and I did promise to do a couple games. But I'm going up in the mountains, so I might be in some snow um, for those games. I'm going to pause real quick, rinse. Um, I am talking more, so I want to try and keep the video not super long. So I'm going to just pause real quick while I rinse. Okay, so I'm back. So a uh, good first pass, no problems there, excellent. We're going to go ahead and do a second pass. I did, see, I'm having a little bit of a breakout. It always happens during the weather changes. I hate it. It happens to me in the spring, and, you know, and it happens to me in the beginning of fall. So, whatever. I will say I need to follow KJ Sue. Order another one of these, the taller one. Um, it doesn't hold quite enough coffee. I will say though, I've been really impressed with the mug that I bought um, from Zazzle with the logo on it. I did. It's uh, they're 16 ounces, I believe. Um, so it's not bad. You know, I wake up every morning and have a cup of coffee before I head into work. But then I fill my mug and take that with me, and sometimes I'll refill it at work too. 
and it's keeping it plenty warm. Um, it's doing a good job, so I'm really happy with it. So um, I would recommend that. One second, just got a text from my wife. All right, just had to make sure nothing serious happened, and nothing did. Um, she was just saying she dropped off the kids and realized she left her umbrella in the house. Um, and what was funny is the other day I left mine in her car. I took mine out of my car when we went to Chuck E. Cheese's so we would have two umbrellas. So she's using mine today and I get to use hers. Which means I get to run around with a, a pink leopard umbrella today. So, whatever. That's fine, I don't care. Alright. Yeah, I had to add a little bit of water to the lather. It was a tad bit dry on that first pass. Um, kudos to Razor Rock with this new formula too, you guys. Um, I play around with it. I know KJ ordered some, so um, I think one of, I'm pretty sure, the Plague Doctor, you'll have to double check, I'm pretty sure that's the, the newer Argon formula. Um, if not, it's the Tallow, which is still tier two. I know for sure that one's not vegan. I personally just didn't like the scent on that one. I was able to smell it when I went to um, the, a local store here, the Mini Mustachery, and I didn't really care for it. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that one's argon. I don't know what argon oil does to soap or lather or anything like that. I'd have to ask one of our resident soap makers. All I know is, is that when compared to the others, I can feel the difference. Residual slickness is there. It's not excellent by any stretch of the imagination, you know. I, but it is good. Excellent. Excellent, excellent stuff. That, adding that little bit of extra water really changed it, really upped it. The slickness is much better on this pass. It's so much better. You know, and I think, I know we've got some a new person and a couple newer people that have joined the forum and they've been asking some questions, which is what this forum is also about, right? Is helping people get good shaves. There's been some good comments in there. Don't be afraid to go back to the puck. Don't be afraid to add water, you know, like I just did. I added a little, I just dipped my brush in my water and went, went back for my second pass, and it made the second pass so much better. I don't know why we all get into this situation where we think, oh, there's, you know, once you, once you commit, you're committed. No. If, if doing something is going to make it better, going back to the puck, for instance, loading, adding more water, it's going to give you a better shave. And let's face it, this is a hobby where you have 15 minutes <laughs> to use your stuff. Every day. I collect coins, too. And I collect movies. Um, I'll pause you real quick and we'll come back and talk about that. Okay, actually pretty dang smooth, so I'm just going to do some touch-ups and some touch-up spots here. But anyway, so I do collect coins. I do collect, like, Blu-ray movies, movies in general. Really big into movies. I, have, I own over 700 Blu-rays. My coin collection is enormous. I inherited some of it from my grandfather when he passed away. But my point is, is, is that... I can go through stretches where I'll put on my gloves, I'll pull out my jeweler's loop, and I can just sit for hours going through my coins and looking at the nuances and the, you know, the artistry on the older coins and stuff like that. My favorites are Civil War tokens. I love pulling out my Civil War tokens and just looking at the intricacies of the coins, you know, and it's, it's fun. Um, a movie, you know, I can purchase the whole series or whatever and I can sit down and I can devote hours of watching the film and loving the acting and the performance and the story and stuff along those lines. Now this hobby, I love it too, but, and we talk about it at, you know, on the forum and I think that's why we have forums so we can still live in our, um, this hobby more than just 15 minutes, but you only get to experience it for that short amount of time. 
you got it. You've got to do everything that you possibly can to make sure that you're getting the best of it. Because it's not fun when we get a cut. It's not fun when the lather's not right. It's not fun, you know, when your razor isn't performing the way that you want it to perform. You, we've invested so much money into this hobby, and yes, we get to have displays, and we get to, you know, look at it and stuff like that, and we can walk around and we can sniff it. But this hobby is a hobby where you get to use it, and you've you've got to be able to, you know, get the full experience. So. I also think, you know, sometimes you hear guys say, well, why aren't you talking about the bad soaps? Why aren't you talking about this? Well, sorry, but I'm not, when I use a soap and it's not good, it either goes to the way back of the cupboard, gets pipped, um, or something. I'm not putting it on. I don't go back to it. It has no time to be put on the camera. So that's something to keep in mind, too. Um, we tend to only really... Unless it's a first time use of a soap, which are, those are fun videos and I need to do more of those. But, like you guys saw yesterday, I, I had an order come in from Sterling and not one. <laughs> not one shave soap. But, there's really only one scent that I'm waiting for from them. And that's the fern. To the points where that I've got all the scents that I like, and nothing new has really been like, ooh, I want to try that. Um, it, he's getting ready for some fall releases though, and he was asked uh, for around Thanksgiving, and I'm excited for some of these scents that he, that he's getting ready to come out with. I can't remember what they all were, but they were modeled after popular colognes, and he's gonna have them on a. You can go to his Facebook page and read them. So we'll, we'll pull the little bit of lather that's left just to kind of show you guys here. Um, it helps if I take my face off camera to show the lather. Boy, you guys could have fun with that statement. <sighs> It's good, guys. It's good stuff. It's plenty slick. It's plenty has plenty uh, cushion. Is it as good as CBO? No. Is it as good as Lisa's Natural Herbal Creations? No. You guys get my point. Okay. We all know what a tier one soap is. We all know what an elite soap is. This isn't elite, and I don't think it's trying to claim to be elite. But it's neat that you can. This is how you can be budget friendly in this and still have good experiences, right? You could pick up a couple razor rock soaks, a couple aftershaves from them, brush one of the razors, and that's all you'd need. And just replace the soap as you go. You wouldn't have to do anything more than that. So, all right. I feel like I've talked enough about being a plug for razor rock. Ooh. It is raining hard now. I know you guys can't hear that, but. Does anybody else sniff the brush? I do. Yeah, I sniff this one. Mm, it smells like tobacco. Used that yesterday. So I kind of do a rotation system. I put, I have two stands up here. And I put the one I just used up to the highest stand, and then I move it down, and then it goes into the cupboard, right? And a new one comes out, use it. And so I just kind of, that's my rotation to ensure that they're plenty, they stay dry. So, um, I was really liking this Humphreys for the first time use yesterday. I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like there's something different with it. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just a higher quality um, witch hazel ingredients or something to that effect than the Humphreys. But face feels better. I really like it. So, um, I need to, I gotta figure out where to store these. By the way, guys, sterling, budget, friendly, cologne. Look at that bottle. These are good looking, man. You get 50 milliliters for like $24. I did the sharp dressed man in the full tub because I love Green Irish Tweed Scents. And I did the barber shop. Because, I'll be honest with you, even though it's not my favorite barbershop smell, 
It's my wife's. Hope that answers it. And then I got a couple of the samples just because I got the executive man, um, which is their interpretation of uh, what I use today, right? Creed Aventus, the Baker Street, and the uh, Mountain Man, which is the Creed Silver Mountain Water. I only did the samples on these three because while I like these scents, I don't wear them as often. And I know everyone's always like, oh, Creed Aventus is the best smell out there. I'm going to disagree. I think the best Creed scent is Green Irish Tweed. I'm going to use the Emperor aftershave. Good, good aftershaves. Um, so we'll get that on here. Good burn, good stuff. Ah, like it. Okay, and then off camera, I will use the EDP Emperor Zent. There, uh, so it's uh, Eau de Parfum. Um, kind of round it out. I got a little bit of coffee left, so let's wrap this up. If you haven't joined the cadre, hit us up. Join us at www.theshavingcadre.com. It's a great place. Sadly, I left my bingo card at home at work, so I probably am not going to get caught up till Monday. Um, so we'll see. I might try to. I don't know if I've got all the numbers written down somewhere else. I'll have to check. But anyways, that was a good shave. Sorry for the longer video. I kind of rambled a little bit. Um, I'll get this uploaded soon, and then I'm going to head out to go get the oil changed on my car and then run some more errands. Um, so I won't be on the pages as much today and probably tomorrow. Um, Sunday, I plan on sitting down and going through the pages some more. I, I'll do a little bit today while I'm in the waiting room, but um, unfortunately I won't be on as much, guys. Just very, very, very busy Friday, very busy Saturday. Um, Sunday, it opens up a little bit for me. So aside from that, I hope you guys have a great day. Happy Friday. I'll see you all on the pages. Have a good one.